Okay, guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. I'm going to activate the reading, pulling from Archangel Michael, Sword of Light Oracle. Let's see what your message is for today. Let it go. Card 19. One and eight is nine, and to me, nines numerologically, especially in tarot, are like right before we complete something. So it is a form of completion, but by way of fine tuning. It says, let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. So there may be something here that you're still kind of holding on to, um, whether it be from some form of disappointment or betrayal, um, right? If there's anything that you're, you've been sort of struggling with, suffering with, and it's been languishing on the vine, you're being given guidance that it's time to wrap it up and let it go. And especially when it comes to the past, I will say that that was the message of the new moon in Cancer. I did a reading for that. It's on the channel. If you missed it, I would watch it since it has a similar message. It also came up in the July 2024 Love Tarot Energy Update reading that I did where I take the month week by week. We just wrapped up week one, so there's still three more weeks. You can watch that reading to see the references to the past. So this is a theme, and you know we had in the new moon sort of a T-square thing with the moon you know, coming into a T-square with the nodes of fate, the north node and the south node. Well, we can't be projected into the future onto our, our, our path, our dharma, what we're here for, if we're still living in the past and holding on to, right, past life energy kind of a thing. Yeah, because that's comfort zone. We don't, you know, nothing good comes from just staying in one's comfort zone. Um, or let's, let me say it like this. Nothing transformative, right? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is a pull your spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Yes, the path forward. In a world of possibilities, Leo, what do you want? What path is more likely to get you there? And what do you need to set in motion so that it arrives, so that you manifest it? That is the opening energy. What is... Crossing it is defensiveness and or resistance. Okay, exactly what your Archangel Michael is here to tell you. Let that shit go because you're not going back that way. You have a path forward. I love you. You, you know you're my people, right? So um, Knight of Swords in your unconscious awareness, sir, could be some uh, lingering tension, yeah, could be some anger, repressed anger, suppressed anger, um, right? Sometimes that Knight of Swords is like, look, I need to have my say. I need to speak my truth. And you may be not letting it go because you haven't had that opportunity. Look at temperance in the past is all about going with the flow, keeping your powder dry, exercising self-control and restraint. And now you're like, screw that. No, before I head off on my path forward, I got some stuff to say. Yes, because this is what you're living with here, Leo, a lot of pain. So if you're, if, if there's been a painful ending and it could be past, it could, this may not be happening now. I feel you're still kind of invested in it to some degree. And so we are looking for potential reconciliation, maybe a meeting in the middle. Um, some form of negotiation or compromise is possible when you see the Six of Wands. It can also be a triumphant return. So keep in mind when we get to this part, we, we've got to determine, is it reconciliation from the past or is it part of the path forward? Yep. Okay, let's get some clarifiers here. Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. King of Cups, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I think something happened here and I'm still feeling it's in the past. I think it happened, 
that it's not happening. Um, but you haven't ha you haven't been able to say your piece. That's what I feel I'm looking at because the tension is still there. The sense of being devalued by someone who was not emotionally available, but still holds the key to your heart. It's hard to let that shit go. It is really hard. Um, but you've got some built-in protection. That's Archangel Michael's claim to fame. So I do feel that, you know, you're starting to get closer to that moment of, uh, you know, I can resist and put up blocks to letting this go as much as I want, but it's only going to hold me back in the end. So I think there's some coming to that realization, um, but you're going kicking and screaming. Let's see the Knight of Swords. You're coming to the realization. <laughs> yes. And you're going kicking and screaming. And it's all about the past. And it's very possible, my loves, that you're regretting that you didn't say what you wanted to say at the time you had the opportunity to say it. Right? And now it feels like it might be a little too late, but you know, I'm feeling with the two knights that move the fastest, the knight of swords, the knight of wands, maybe if this person returned, that's my opportunity to either clear the air or to have my say. There's some insight and awareness here, some realization, potentially an epiphany rising to the surface. That, that was then and this is now. You didn't say what you had to say and now you got it's time to move on, to let it go. If you want peace within yourself. So temperance. In the past, Wheel of Fortune. What's meant to be will be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let divine time um, play its hand. The, there's Jupiter, as I said, the death card, right? Is it, if it's over, it'll be over. If it's meant to transform, if it's meant to return, maybe it will slowly at its own pace. It just feels to me like in the past, when you missed the opportunity to say what you, whether you missed it, meaning didn't seize it, or whether you never got it. It's a general reading. You're going to have to take it as it resonates for you, but we're talking about there's something you're not letting go for a reason. And part of it is in the past, you sort of set your mind to, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ride this out. I'm going to, you know, if it's meant to be and there, it's meant to be done, it'll be done. If it's meant to return, maybe it will over time. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly and methodically. So I think you've been kind of in a holding pattern. Um, Ten of Swords in your conscious awareness. What's done is done. Yeah, Leo, this one is going to leave a mark for sure, if it hasn't already. There's definitely been a betrayal, and now it's pretty much all you can think of. Um, it is hard to move forward in your path. I mean, I'm getting emotional over it. It's hard to move forward on your path because there's something so unresolved here. Something you didn't get to speak to, right? And you know how we are. We, you know, we, we either don't believe what's happening as it's happening. We don't want to call a thing a thing. And then it's happened and then it's passed. And we're left, you know, like stunned. And then over time, as we begin the healing process, Everything we wanted to say comes to our mind. Everything we would have said if we had the opportunity comes to mind. And then it all rises to the surface. And so even though this happened in the past, it's like it's happening right now. So it's fresh and it's painful. And I'm not saying there's denial here, but there's definitely like, there's a point right now where you're like, no, I'm not going to let it go till I say my piece. And then in the near future, we have the six of wands. And I kind of feel you get the opportunity on some level to off 
offload a lot of the energy that I'm seeing here. Hmm. Like the love remains, but it kind of lies dormant. There may be an opportunity to kind of at least leave things on good terms, which would feel good. It's the nine of cups. It's not the 10, but it's the nine. And that might be some wish fulfillment for some of you. It might be what allows you to offload this terrible burden that you're carrying around. So what you may want to set intentions around going forward, especially as we move into your season and we have Lion's Gate coming up, stick a pin in that, is you might want to focus on an opportunity to at least make peace with this person even if you only can do it energetically. So what I have done, not that this reading is for me, it's not, but what I have done in these situations is I have said my piece into my handy little recorder here. And I have played it back and I have edited it. And I have played it back and I have edited even more. And then I took it and transcribed it and I folded it up and I offered it as a gift to the universe that I'm finally free of it. I've burned it at the full moon. Does that make sense? Like this, you've got to ritualize this. So whether you have this opportunity to make peace with this person to the degree that the love remains, that, that there's not like negative feelings, that the love remains and that the peace that you make is good enough, right? It'll do the trick. It allows me to unburden myself and move forward because that's what, where we are at, is the path forward. So if you ritualize it, there is a liberation that comes with that. It's like, it's out of my hands, it's up to the universe now, and that kind of energy. So I, I am feeling the emotion. It's kind of like right here caught in my throat, um, but I feel this is something from the past, so it's, um, hopefully not tri too triggering, um, but you're being guided, right? Uh, Archangel Michael is going to help you se sever the energetic connections of the past so you can embrace the future, which you are so far, as I can see, resistant to at this moment. That's not serving your highest good. I do want to go into the extended, and we're going to look at our King of Cups here. Um, and uh, in connection with you. So what has worked for the connection? What has not worked for the connection? What are the potential opportunities? I do want to get a message to you from this person, even if you haven't heard from them forever. Um, what are they picking up from you energetically? That is often very surprising. Uh, additional guidance from spirit, hidden energies, what you can't see but might want to know about, and then how things might unfold for you going forward with or without this person. Um, on the menu, so to speak. But coming up on Lionsgate, which is 8-8, um, for those of you who are not familiar, Lionsgate is a very powerful energetic portal that opens July 28th, closes August 12th, but peaks around August 8th. Very powerful energetic portal for ascension, very uh, specifically for uh, twin flame connections, soulmate connections, so I'm offering a special private reading deal. It's in the description box below. It will be a reading that is focused on that energy for you and your beloved and how, you know, what opportunities do you have um, through that portal in Ascension uh, it, within your connection, like what's available to you. And um, it's $88 off my regular rate. So if you have been wanting a private reading or a second one or maybe a third, um, and it's been a little out of reach, this would be the time. So that offer lasts the whole month of Ju July, but it's booking up and readings will be delivered mostly in August. So I just wanted to let you know that's available to you. As always, there's an extended here. and I, I've numbered it one option one, option two or option three so that you don't get confused by those links so that you know what it is you're purchasing. Just wanted to say that. And if you enjoy my readings, even though they can be a little triggering, and not always painting rosy pictures, please do subscribe below. That is the only way I can continue to stay here on this platform. 
Um, I'm getting lost in the shuffle of the new algorithms. And so I am asking for those of you who have not yet subscribed, it doesn't cost you a thing, please do subscribe. And um, obviously views is what matters. So if you feel comfortable sharing it, uh, please do or start watching the mixes. You know, when you see the little mix come up on, on the side when you're watching a video and you see Awakened Priestess Mix, just click it, turn the volume off, and let it run through all those videos. I swear, it really does help. It makes a big difference. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's my humble request. Okay, so what we have is King of Cups is Scorpio. The Knight of Swords is Gemini. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, as is Temperance, as is the Wheel of Fortune, which is actually Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Death card is Scorpio. Virgo and the Knight of Pentacles. That's what I have for you. I don't think I missed anything else. Head into the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye.